Did this thing certainly work, or was it a flop? Or partially? This is supposed to be a horse for my stepsister. It ain't no horse. That was a flop. This was a horse second try. Flop! Ah, this. Certainly worked. Just a little stringy. Just a little. But he's cute. He's the left shark. I think I've told you all, in my bedroom it's animal and beach theme. So cute. Now this was a possible, possibly, it's possibly okay, like it got messed up, but some of it turned out okay. My poor Eiffel Tower turned into a Eiffel flop. Look at this. Ay, ay, ay. Just no. Oh, the reason I look so fancy is my stepsister stopping by for a little bit before she heads back to Florida. Yay. I'm happy to see her. It's just a day's notice. <laughs> my stepsister came over with her boyfriend. Yes, we stayed six feet apart. She had a mask and she only stayed for like an hour or less. And they had some pizza and they got a house tour. I haven't seen her in about four to five years. So my girl, and she was, she kind of stopped by randomly because she wasn't sure she was going to stop by and then she did. And so I couldn't say no. And her and I have a very like sister relationship and you know how sisters can be. And she has three kids, my niece and nephew, my nieces and my nephew and godson. He's my godson and nephew. It was good to see them and I'm glad that she found a guy that is nice to her and the kids. I'm grateful that she's in a better space, she said, and is getting a college education. And we got to have some people over for Easter and half of them, most of them were vaccinated. There's only four of us. No, three of us that weren't. Me, my stepdad, and my daughter because they don't have it for eight year olds yet. And we're still looking into where we can go. So on Easter, almost everyone was vaccinated and they still stayed six feet apart, wore a mask if they needed to, all of that. So I've been watching Brad Mendo a lot and if I said his name wrong, I'm so sorry, but I feel like my purple washed out. What did I do wrong? I've been I've been using like very little shampoo conditioner on my hair, doing it in the sink with like a cup, and it still looks like it washed out. I don't know if it's because my hair is red er more red? Bright red during the summer. Like and with the lightning. <laughs> Light lighting. Like it goes from like one to like dark to bright red. It's kind of confusing. Having naturally red hair? Do you want me to do a video on having naturally red hair and trying to dye it? Because I have had dyeing failures over the past years. When I tried to do it, then my hairstylist does it. She does an okay job, but then it just washes out so easily. But I feel like my little red, like, cut right there. It's like, really? She just did this not that long ago. What did I do to you? And it's starting to look like a purple spike. I haven't even washed my hair in the shower like normal with hot water. I've been using like freezing cold. This is what I get. Do you want a whole story about this? I could do a whole vlog about having natural red hair and trying to use real dye, semi permanent dye, on my tips try to use spray that you would get at Halloween stores. Like, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you want to see that? Oh, I have the hiccups or burp? I'm not really sure what it is. I'm watching the Rachel Ballinger and Colleen Ballinger and I've been watching Dead Meat and now I've been watching 
my videos have gone from like scary to like YouTubers to like I was watching Dance Moms and then I was gonna watch Bring It from Lifetime as well but I haven't done that yet but I have watched The Dance Moms again I was like oh should I do something new but then I was like I want something easy so like when I watch Dead Meat during food, not the prettiest idea. I've tried to eat with it, especially when I was watching like Last Turn on the Left and they are cannibals. Doesn't make you want to eat. Okay. <sighs> I am exhausted. I don't know why. There's no reason for it. Okay. You will see me try to do movie, TV shows review, review, Netflix review. You will see me do toys and a lot of like animation on my kids channel. You will also see me do magazines and book reviews on this channel. And let me know in the comments below because I don't know if I should make this video or not. I've been watching this hairdresser. Okay. No, I forgot his name already. I'm gonna look. Brad Mendo. Much apologize if my camera gets slow sometimes and I don't notice. I told you, I bought her the Jane doll in the cheer outfit because we didn't have the original. And I thought it was just so cute. And I finally found it, so of course I'll be putting it with the other Rainbow High collection. She has this green outfit. A hoodie that just says Rainbow High and it's black and white and then a little bit of light green. These adorable sneakers that say Rainbow and it has like an N. And she has like little leggings underneath her dress. She has her hair up in a side ponytail that's curled with this bow that has these awesome cute little spike gems. Then she has little bow clip on for your hair so your bangs or whatever don't get in your face. If I remember correctly, a lot of athletes have to put their hair up because hair gets in the way, it could hit someone else, it could hurt someone else. So just remember that's why sometimes you see their hair up. But in the back she's like this like little piece that just helps the ponytail stay in place. She also has Go Team Rainbow, green and white, and like her eyelash, all of their eyelashes are like real on the top, kind of fake on the bottom. I mean, she is so pretty though. I just love these dolls. If you want to see me do the LOL dolls that Jade and I have collected over the years, let me know in the comments below because we have the, like, I'll explain. Ultimate and 10 
and prediction, any notebook, any pen, step one, list notebook workers and ensure that that notebook is clean and dry. Choose where you want your pen to hold. Shown on six and eight inch notebook, remove protective stones from pen holders. Be careful not to touch the pen. Align the two pens with the edge of the notebook. See diagram step five. Touch down firmly on the top of the pen holder to secure attachment. Six. If your pen doesn't insert in one direction, try the other. Thank you for your pen holder. Woof. I got some pens that are different colors. This could be a pink, green, purple, there's a light blue, red, dark blue, and black. I'm so excited about this one. And there's so many different colors. I'm probably like, oh, what's so special? Okay, vlog about power outage. The power went out where I live. And it was annoying and frustrating because a lot of the kids are online, a lot of the adults work online. Yes, I know. Didn't last very long, did it? Yeah, I'm missing all but three, four nails. Lovely, right? Just lovely. But I'll let them fall up by themselves. You could check out my kids' channel to see me review toys if you want. It's really up to you. I still can't believe the power went out. It got so dark in the basement. It is so surprising. Also in here is a red bottoms with red fiery shoes, which I love. Thought I heard something in them, but these go to the red one. And I love these shoes. They're so cute. She comes with this cool rainbow hat jacket. And of course you can mix and match the outfits if you want. It's really up to you. A lot of them come with like a skirt. Here's a top. An earring to one of them. Like I said, Jake got in here. A blue outfit. A red hanger. Blue. So I do have the accessories kind of just all over the place. So for the newest ones, which I have no idea where she put them. But I have the purple one separate. I was so tempted to put her in a cute little dress. And her cool top. It's like a fake pleather. And she comes with these adorable purple heels. It's like a purplish pink color. And my lighting. It could also be my tinted glasses. So those are some of the accessories I have from the other dolls. And I'm going to switch the one doll's shoes. Hi there, I am ZZ Susan Anime. And I want to say don't forget to like, subscribe, and if I have a bell, click it. Don't forget that this is my adult channel. So like, subscribe, become a member of my not so fabulous morning family. I also am going to be filming a new intro with a cute fan. I hope you all like, subscribe, and watch my TikToks, and buy some of my books off of Amazon, and check out some of my artwork. It's so hot, so give myself some fan, because it's summertime here. One last before I put it away. So I went to Build-A-Bear with Jade for Mother's Day. This is my adult channel, I know. I asked them if they had a sloth, they said no. 
I guess the sloth that I was looking for was a miniature. So I got a light fury, a uh, rainbow kind of bear. Looks like a well, Lisa Frank bear. And this cute, adorable sloth that I found. I was looking for it. I love sloths, as y'all know. I have like two stuffed, three stuffed animal sloths, a dog toy sloth, sloth decorations, a sloth like miniature purse where I put like vitamin products, a sloth notebook. I just love sloths. They're kind of the opposite of me. They're calm and chill and relax. Well, I'm very woo. So sometimes when I think of sloths, I just remember, take a deep breath, calm down. Don't be so stressed out. So I like sloths because they're the opposite. They're just calming. And I just thought it was so funny that I found the last one. And I was like, wait, where did I find you? Like, it was just so funny that I found it. Like, it was just the last one. It was very random. It was a miniature sloth. It's a fluffy striped sloth. I guess they don't have big ones that you stuff up. They have the miniature ones, but I'm just so happy I found this one. And I like my Light Fury as well. So I have from Jade. She got a Pokemon Bunny, and if I forgot the name, I'm so sorry I forgot the name. It's a Pokemon Bunny that ha like has firepower, I guess. Oh, my necklace. And this side. Yes, yeah, some people wear them without like the little clips. Some people add clips. It's really up to you. I got hair in my nose or sparkles. So I went in looking for a sloth. Very disappointed they didn't have a sloth. I was like, oh. But there was like three like normal build a bears that I was looking at. So they got Toothless along with Light Fury. And then they had an Eevee. They also had a Stitch. But I was like, mm. I love Disney. I wanted something different. And Light Fury was just cute. And then I found this and I was so happy. I was just so happy. Yes, I'm so happy. And Jade and I picked out a necklace and a matching earring set that was on sale. And I got myself some stuff that you saw from Hot Topic for Mother's Day, so I'm happy. My stepdad's in here right now, and he reminds me the word is partial. Duh. What would you like to see me do on this channel? More crafts, more drawing, more pets, more whatever. Because I like to do a lot, but y'all got to kind of give me some ideas here. Okay, I'm just obsessed with this dress. This dress would look pretty cute on most people. And luckily, since it's... N I was gonna go with this pink, pink dress, and then I asked my grandma, she's like, no, you'll look like a dead ghost. And I'll be like, okay, if I want to look like a ghost, buy pink. So I guess if I ever do a cosplay where I'm wearing, like, very pale pink, not like the pink I had got yesterday, which is like a darkish pink but like a really light pink you'll know why but like you'll look like a ghost and I'll be like that's the point of this video I'm doing comedy but we're gonna do some fun things I mean we're gonna this is old but I figured I'm gonna show you some sales they have at food line just for fun you know kind of like couponing but not couponing I don't know like 
I don't know what you want to call it because I thought it'd be fun. But at least when I go to Target, maybe I can get some stuff to do. Plus, I need to go get like an Easter basket for Jade. I have to look up what video games are. I guess I'll have to see what they have there. Because she plays some and then she doesn't like some and then she does. But I want to do an Easter basket for her, so. Okay, what side is that? The, this. No, this side. Okay. It's one piece of hair that's driving me crazy. Good news is, yesterday I walked my dog. At that point, it would have cost about seven days to start doing the video, but Grandma's like, you're not doing it for four hours, no thank you. And I'm like, uh, I'm not physically in for four hours of walk time, do I just want to watch a movie? Or something else? Yeah, but on my tablet and on my computer on and off, that's the question is, what do I want to do today? Make a plan. Get back to me when I get back. My doctors, like my ADHD and my pain brain, that's what the doctors call it. It's when you're like in so much pain, you kind of forget what you were doing. I forgot where I put that paper. <sighs> but there'd be two podcasts. One I started on TikTok and it would be about like sea creatures, mermaids, and you know, other fictional things, but also some facts. And the other podcast would be kind of chill, maybe just asking questions or talking about like things like is it weird I sometimes have uh, lighters shot glasses I guess one would be like more kid friendly and the other would be like a double I don't know we'll see just wanted to give you an update on what I've been doing I'll be working on some art for my stepdad so you probably see some videos about that Okay, okay. Oh, I added some animation to my movie reviews. So if you're wondering like, why did you start adding animation to your intro? It's cause I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you what I kind of do with my kids channel, but it's more adult related and teenage related. 